John Fetcher here with mobilehomeinvesting.net and I wanted to give you a really quick tip how to change the interior doorknob of a mobile home. And you're saying, John, it's a mobile home, it's a doorknob, how hard could it be? Well, there's a little trick that I didn't realize for a few years after I started mobile home investing. I thought that I had to buy a doorknob specific for mobile home interiors, where that's not really the case. You can go to Home Depot or Lowe's and you can pick up a normal Quick Set. Uh, that's the brand, Quick Set. Uh, and you want to get an interior bed and bath door. Now, uh, door handle. Now, realize what the problem is, where the problem comes into, is sometimes these uh, inserts right here for where the latch is going to go, uh, they're not big enough to house the entire uh, latch right here. Now, this is typically what you're going to get, or when you buy a quick set, uh, that's what you're going to get. You're going to get this la la latch looking thing, and you're going to put it inside here, and when you try to close the door, it's not going to close. You're going to have a problem there. Uh, so you could cut a recess in uh, for this part right here. However, a quicker thing to do, and I've already done it, is you want to get a flathead screwdriver and you want to put it right in between these two pieces here and you want to just pry them open. And what that's going to do, the top piece is going to come off. This bottom piece is going to slide right down. There's another part that comes with it, depending on how big this hole is, you can put another piece right in here and this will slide on this only if this jiggles around here. In this particular case, this latch will fit right in nice and flat, perfectly snug right there. So then when we, when we close the door, that'll just fit perfectly. So through the magic of uh, cinematography, I'm going to go ahead and speed up. I want to show you what the old doorknob looked like. Can you believe that? I don't know if that was the dog or the kids maybe that got to that. So let's go ahead and wrap this up and I'll show you what the end product looks so, like. So surprise, surprise, it looks like a regular doorknob, but we have it functional and it can close, doesn't get stuck. There was no drilling or uh, any sort of uh, other tools besides your screwdriver required. That's the quick little tip I learned. If you've ever had to install a doorknob and you thought you had to get a specific one for a mobile home, you don't. Just pick up yourself a quick set one. It's between seven and ten dollars in the store. Uh, thank you so much for watching this. If you have any other questions about mobile home investing, repairs in general, uh, don't hesitate to uh, reach out and contact me. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.